Has it been good to have the, the international break with the, the new manager coming in? Um, yeah, obviously the lads got to have you know a full week of training with a new manager. Um, I wasn't there, I was away with Northern Ireland, so I never got to you know, have that week of working um, with the new manager. But the lads are full of praise and they've worked hard last week and uh, they've worked towards you know the game Saturday and you know everyone's looking forward to it. No, you're back. Has he changed much? Um, yeah, you know, every manager's different. He has his own philosophies, he's coming with his own philosophies, things he wants wants to do. Um, so every manager's different and, you know, we're working on it day in, day out and training uh, what, what he wants us to do and how he wants us to play. And um, I think that showed against Hamilton. Um, you know, it was a great result and, you know, we, we was a lot higher up the pitch, pressing a lot higher. Um, and I think it, it paid off with only a few days of him working with us. Six days a week, is it? Yeah, um, it's um, you know a full week, but it's good training. It's hard work, but um, if that's if that's what we got to do to be to be where we want to be, then you know the lads will get their heads down and work as hard as possible for the new manager. And uh, you know the lads are enjoying it so far. Yeah, take it. There's, there's no complaints. You're all happy to be doing that. Yeah, also. yeah, all lads are happy. You know, it's, it's our job. Um, and if the manager wants us to train, um, you know, six days a week. That's, that's fine by us. You know, we we'll go out there and give our best and work as hard as we can to improve as a bunch of players and do our best uh, for, for the new manager. So it's a bold move that, to come in on your first access to cancel the players' day off, essentially. And it shows a wee bit about his character and what he's like as a boss that he's uh, prepared to do that. To be honest, I think, you know, it's... it's with, with different managers, they have, you know, different ways of... You know, days of training, days off. You see, I know down in the Premier League, like I think is it Pochettino. He he does that as well. You know, he works solid throughout the week and has a day off after a game. So, you know, it just it just depends on the manager, and you know, it's it's proven to work. Um, and you know, as a bunch of la as a bunch of players, we've you know, if the manager says that that's what we're going to do, you know, we're happy to do that. And as I said, we've been working hard for the last I think three weeks now since the manager's been in. Lads are fine with it working hard and you know the hard work will, will pay off. If you're going to try and remain an Aberdeen's lead then I suppose that hard work is you're going to have to put it in so you, you may as well do it now that the Pedro's going. Yeah, um, as I said training last week I know I weren't here but speaking with the lads it was good um, throughout the whole week um, and then we've worked hard again this week and we're now prepared and ready to go into Saturday's game and we have a busy schedule next week with Kilmarnock on Wednesday and Aberdeen away Sunday, so it's a you know it's a big week for us. Is it a fresh chance for you? I mean, obviously you've been in and out the team this season, but obviously now with Pedro coming in, is this a chance for you to you know perhaps stake a claim for a, a more regular slot? Yeah, I think you know when a new manager comes in, every player is sort of um, being looked at. Um, so it's up to you as a player to you know impress in training and you know try to catch the manager's eye and sort of impress him. So you're the player that he, he plays. Uh, when it comes to a Saturday, um, but you know we're still only three weeks in, so every lad sort of, as I said in training, training's good. Everyone's trying to, you know, play for their places. Um, and yeah, and hopefully if you know I can carry on training well and you know hopefully get a bit more game time. But you know that's that's down to the manager. We have to see over the next couple of weeks. Kevin, you've been wanting to make an impact right away. These first few weeks are quite important, you'd imagine. Is it frustrating for you, to, not so much that you're away with Northern Ireland, but you, you've missed that opportunity to, to sort of make an early impact? Um, I think, obviously I missed a week's worth of training, but um, to be honest, I don't think that, that will matter as much. Um, I think the manager knows that I've, I went away with, you know, international duty. So I think, you know, he'll look at me more when, you know, when I come back this week in, in training. So even though I missed a week, I don't think... Um, it would matter as much, and obviously Lee Wallace was away with Scotland as well, and you know he, he played in the friendly as well. So um, there's two players away who missed last week's training, but I don't think that that would make a difference within sort of him looking at us two. I mean, just to jump back to the training, I mean, the fact that we're even asking you so many questions about six days a week maybe shows you the attitudes. Maybe in Scotland, maybe aren't quite you know in tune with the modern game. Is that the kind of thing we just need to come to accept that these are modern methods? This is what you do to get to the top of the game. Um, I think, as I said before, every manager is different. They have their philosophies, they have their ways how they want to train, uh, the days they want to train, the days they want to have off. So, um, you know, as that, that's, this is where the new manager wants to work. And I don't think, you know, it's, it's maybe the new way of 
of modern football because every manager is different. You see throughout the Scottish Premier League, right down to you know the English leagues in the Premier League, every manager will have a different regime throughout the week and how they want their players to prepare and train for a game. Um, so I think you know Ped, the new manager story has uh, come in and said he wants us to you know train this way. So as a as a group of players, you know we, we'll take that on board and we'll work as hard as we can for him. Are there any other changes made so far? Um, no, you know he's come in. He's told us the way he wants us to play. Um, he's he's very passionate, as you can probably tell, which is which is good. Um, and you know we're as a bunch of players, we're really enjoying it at the moment. You know, training's been good, hard, but at the same time, you know he's he's there and he, he'll have a laugh with you as well. So it's good. You know, there's a good relationship between the, the players and the, the new manager and the staff. How important is it that you can build that relationship as quickly as possible, given that there are still a lot of important games? Yeah, on? definitely. It's it's important. You know, when a new manager comes in, the staff that the players bond quickly, and I think we've we've done that very well. And I think that's credit to you know the manager and the new staff, uh, the way they've come in and. Um, sort of settled in and uh, got involved with the lads as much as they can. I think that's helped massively, and you know it's been enjoyable with them on the training field as well. Does it feel different? Does it feel like a happier place? Obviously, it's been a difficult season, and with, with Mark leaving, a bit of turmoil over the last few months. But does it feel like it's now getting back to normal? Is it a happy place to come and work in? Um, it's always a happy place to come and work. Um, you know, it's it, who who wouldn't be happy coming to play and train for? You know. A, Rangers, such a big club. So, um, you know, obviously there's been hard times, and as players, you, you don't want to lose games. It's never, it's never nice to lose games. It hurts us as players. Um, and you know, when when there were were hard times, we we got together as a group of lads and you know as a team and knuckled down in training and just look forward to the next game to try to put it right. And you know, there's a new manager that's come in, and obviously it gives the players a lift with a new manager coming in. Everyone wants to impress and do well. Um, and I think that showed obviously the first game in charge against Hamilton. It was you know a strong performance from the lads. You touched on that a moment ago there with Pataudry coming up fairly soon. How would you sum up uh, Rangers' chances of catching and overtaking Aberdeen, and how important will this next ten day period be? Um, I think we've got to believe we can we can catch them. Um, I think last three games we've shown very positive signs. Um, and pushing forward to where we want to be. Um, so I think this week's massive with the first game you know, against Motherwell. Um, and then obviously going into Wednesday against Kilmarnock, if we can get six points there going into the game against Aberdeen on Sunday, um, it, it would put, put them under a lot of pressure. Um, but as I said, we're going to take it game by game. Um, that, I think that's all we can do at the moment. Look, just look at one game and when the next one comes, then we look at that and we'll see where that takes us uh, come the end of the season. And do you believe you can go to Pretodri and win? Yeah, I think you have to. As, as a group of players, you have to believe you can go out and win every game. If you're going into a game half-hearted think, thinking, oh, we could get a draw here or you know, that'd be good. I think that's not right as a group of players thinking like that. I think we've got to have a you know, winning mentality and thinking that way that we can go into every game and win every game we can.